Und dann plötzlich hat sie aufgehört, hat er ja gemeint. This is our first time on a boat together, huh? Nein. I suppose it is. How'd you get so good at rowing? Sometimes I'll row when I go fishing with Bob and Rex. It'll be dawn soon. How are you holding up? It's been a busy day. But I'm all right. What about you? Oh, I'm used to all-nighters. I'm tougher than I look, you know. <laughs> Where's Brian's grave? That way. Let's hurry. Ja, aber wie erklärst du? Sagen wir mal, jetzt, JC Valley wird jetzt angezeigt, falls sie es überhaupt anzeigen wegen dem ganzen Zeug. Wie erklärst du? Ja, Alter, wir, wir haben einfach den ihre Erinnerung, Erinnerungen gelöscht und neue eingepflanzt, dass ein anderer schuld ist. Alter, wie hier die Sonnenstrahlen rausgehen. Ey, das ist das. Das ist für mich richtig gut gemacht. Du hast eine nicht wirklich gute Grafik, sagen wir mal ehrlich, aber dafür eine stimmige. Und das macht es dann halt schon wieder besser, als wenn du einfach sagst, ich habe hier so eine echt wirkende High-End-Grafik. Da hinten ist auch so eine Kamera. Da, kann, da zeigt es sich dann den, ne? What is this place? It's the Lake Spring. Not many people know about it. According to Dan, it's the source of Lake Julia. It all comes from here? Yep. The whole lake wells out from this one point. It's also responsible for keeping it clean. Lake Juliet's been polluted a number of times, but the spring always restores its waters. So even the current pollution will be cleaned up soon? As long as the spring holds out. That must be why Judd chose to put Ryan's grave here. The spring restores it all. Did you just throw water at him or something? No. Ey, du bist zu laut zum, beim Laufen. This is Ryan's grave. So your mom brought you here 13 years ago. I think this will be the last time I come here, Ryan. Judd left his most precious possession with you. So I'll leave mine here too. Das hat er gemeint, dass sie nicht mehr gekommen ist, um ihn zu sehen. I remember what she said. She said Judd left his most precious possession here. Let's take a look around. So eine Kamera das sein von den Gina erzählt hat. Was den See beobachtet haben. Grabstein ist eine Inschrift. Ryan Fitzgerald, 1980 bis 1992, also war er 12. Sag ich doch. Ich habe das gesehen, bevor. Dad. 
What is it? Check it out. Ryan's mom gave him this kaleidoscope. He told me when we were talking at the cottage, he said he had to undergo treatments as a kid. That's when he would give it to mom for safekeeping. Undergoing treatment must have been what Judd called erasing his memories. And because of that, Ryan died. Mom must have come here to return it. That's why she was here 13 years ago. Grabstein ist oben mit einer Kirschblüte verziert. What's this? Grabstein ist äh, so ein Steinkachel mit angreifenden Buchstaben. What's this say? Du wurdest als Engel geboren und hast mein Leben erfüllt. Du bist zu früh gegangen und hinterlässt Leere. Judd dedicated this message to his son. Huh? Das sieht ein bisschen komisch aus, ne? What's up? It looks like there's some sort of trick to this gravestone. Are the stone tiles some sort of key? A key? Wenn ich durchschaue ah. vielleicht? Kirschblütenmuster war auch auf dem Grabstein. Achso, ich muss da nice und so. Der Dirk meint, es gibt genau eine Kirschblüte, die wo auftaucht. Hä? Es ändert sich, wenn ich es drehe. Ah! Äh. Love? Luffy. Ah, natürlich genau die falsche Seite. Jetzt. Kommt ja trotzdem nichts. Jetzt zeigt's mir an, dass es passt. Das Muster gibt ein Wort. Ist das euer Scheiß Ernst? Jetzt zeigt das andere drin, oder? Oder auch nicht? Das würde wahrscheinlich an dem in der Mitte liegen, ne? Ich habe keine Ahnung, was ich machen soll. Ich glaube, ich stehe da, da, da. Warte, was? Dass da ein Mechanismus dahinter steckt. Ähm. Ja, ich kann nicht einfach alles drücken. Hm? Ach so. Äh. Hä? Habe ich jetzt aus Versehen die richtigen erwischt?
Oder ist es egal, Hauptsache ich mache das Wort. Für was konnte ich da reinschauen? Dad, check it out. There's a picture inside. Look at his smile. Ach, deswegen sein größter Besitzer. He looks so happy. I never would have guessed. Judd stole Sayoko's memories, and yet, what he cherished the most was the memory of his child. Dad? Hello, Ashley. Ryan! You still remember me? Of course I do. When you and I met in the another room, I attempted to delete the memory data you have of me. But it seems I never gained full access to your hippocampus. What did you do to my dad? I have suspended his consciousness. It is only temporary. He will not perish. He is not required for our current discourse. I think I finally understand, Ryan. You used the Another through security cameras. It's how you made me see you. That's correct. What you see right now is only in your mind. This image is temporarily ingrained in your memory. I am currently manipulating your perception. You took advantage of Sophia in the same way. But I'm not like her. I won't let you do whatever you want. Interesting. Sayoko said the same thing to Judd. Your life's work is to complete the another. I will not allow you to squander your brilliance. Especially for something as foolish as family. I forbid it! Get back to work this instant! That's an order! Ja, ja, so überzeugt man the another Leute. is more than your precious research. I will not allow myself to be used. Your eyes look so much like Sayoko's did back then. Ashley, why are you here? I don't understand. I thought coming here would help me figure everything out. What do you mean by everything? My mom came to this island 13 years ago. I thought if I could remember that moment, it would all fall into place. I would understand why she came to Lake Juliet. Why the memory of my mother knew about you. Why you appeared to me. And tried to revive her. I see. I want to know. I want to know the truth about you. A drive for knowledge. I have always felt that too. Why was I born? What is my purpose? What are you talking about? I've never encountered someone like you. Someone who wished to know me. I understand. I will tell you the truth. Here lies Ryan Fitzgerald. And because he existed, I now exist. Judd's son. The another's first ever test subject. Ryan lost his mother at a young age. This left a deep wound on his heart. He closed himself off, no longer allowing himself to feel. Judd wanted to heal that wound, thereby restoring his son's emotions. He attempted to do this with the Another, which was still just a prototype at the time. However, the experiment failed. Ryan was left paralyzed and later died. Ryan's memories were extracted during that experiment. 
They were recorded to liquid memory and stored in a tank in J.C. Valley's basement storage. And that tank containing liquid memory is where I was born. The first human to notice was your mother. There's no mistaking. The stored memory data is changing. The liquid memory is producing new episodic recollections on its own? I don't know how it happened. Sayoko referred to me as a conscious life form born from Ryan's memory data. Born from memory data? The first thing I remember is the feeling of swimming through a sea of memories. The human memory is truly a fascinating thing. It starts with sense, and then there is information. And beyond that, knowledge. Each memory has a different emotion. Longing, loneliness, fear, regret, happiness. I am proof that Ryan was alive. I read his memory and I learned, and I slowly grew. My mom never told Judd about you? She reported her findings, but Judd quickly dismissed them. He said that self-propagation of memory data is impossible. He was exactly the person Ryan's memory made him out to be. A genius scientist willing to do anything to further his research even sacrifice his own family. Self-righteous, refusing to hear anyone else's opinion. Unlike Sayoko, he never tried to understand me. Once she left, Judd would glance at the tank every so often. And then one day, he started talking to it. He said, I'll find a way to revive you, Ryan. He continued developing the Another alone. He also started a new experiment. An experiment to overwrite memories using the Another. Judd began writing Ryan's memory data onto other subjects. It was his attempt to revive his son. Carrying out these experiments required him to create many copies of Ryan's data. He extracted his test subject's memories and accumulated them all into liquid memory. Was his experiment successful? It was not. It was impossible to complete the another without Sayoko. The ability to overwrite memory never came to fruition. He abandoned its development and sealed up the lab housing the another. And then, six years ago, a terrible storm tore through Lake Juliet. JC Valley lost power and the building was destroyed. The tanks storing liquid memory were damaged. They leaked into the lake. This was liquid memory that contained not only Ryan's memories, but many others. It became one with the water. So in a way, it felt like this lake had become my brain. Over time, I was able to access JC Valley's network. This, in turn, allowed me access to all sorts of information. That's when I learned of Sayoko's murder. I learned a lot from Judd's computer, including that it was Bill who killed Sayoko, and that whoever he was working for was connected to Judd. What? How could you? Why did you murder Sayoko? From the very start, the Another Project was conducted in secret. Sayoko and I were hand-picked by the lab's head to carry the project forward. You were just a researcher, a useful tool. We started making... real progress. But then Sayoko... betrayed us. You two stole our research, hid it in your home. So, I gave Sayoko one more chance that night. 
I told her to return the research and return to the fold. I see. So if Mom knew all this, is that why she tried to protect the Another? Ashley, it wasn't until I learned of Sayoko's death that I finally understood. The sorts of moments that can produce such strong emotions. I had never felt more. And yet, at that moment, all I felt was sadness. And all I wanted was to ask Judd, why did Sayoko have to die? Did you ever meet Judd? I did. He was in the process of developing the remote another at the time. I infiltrated the system to gain access to him. Deswegen ist er gestorben. What are you? Judd looked both surprised and confused when I appeared before him. He reached out to see if I was real, but he couldn't touch me. So he simply stared at me for a long while. And then I asked him, Why did Sayoko have to die? He remained silent. He simply looked at me with an expression I couldn't interpret. So I asked him once more, Why did Sayoko, the only person who knew me, have to die? He didn't answer my question. Instead, he muttered my name. Ryan. At last, he understood the nature of my existence. He looked at me with eyes that had grown old, and he trembled. What emotion do you suppose he was expressing? Chad died, right? After learning about you? Yes. Both Sayoko and Judd were gone. So no one else in the world knew of my existence. And yet, I continued to exist in this lake. That sounds so lonely. All this time, my mind was occupied with a single thought. Why do I exist? But I couldn't find an answer. After a while, I grew interested in the another left behind by Sayoko and Judd. I wanted to complete it. I was the one Bill sent the Another's source code to. No way. Using that data, I was able to complete the prototype Another. But why? It was simply a task to prove I exist. I didn't have a specific goal beyond that. Dr. Robbins came to JC Valley. He started investigating things no one had looked into before. Do you know why he came here? Did he tell you? I didn't know at first, but I do now. Äh, suchen der Verschmutzung, Suras finden die Wahrheit über Sayoko. Bei welcher Welt? Papa ist hergekommen, um ihn fertigzustellen. Michael finden? Nee. War halt über Sayoko, oder? I need to find out why she was here. Because if I do, I think it will reveal the truth behind her death. My dad wanted to know why my mom came here. Ryan, we had no idea. We didn't know her memory data was inside her pendant. I see. But how did you know? How did you know about the pendant? I was monitoring Rex's computer. He kept a journal on it. He wrote about hiring your father. He wrote, Should I tell Richard about Sayoko's pendant? 
When Dr. Robbins came to J.C. Valley, he was still seeking the truth of what happened to Sayoko. He found the data that Bill had sent. That's when he started piecing together the secrets around the Another and the secret lab. He began looking into the lake pollution, too. He was close to figuring out that the pollution was liquid memory. It was around then I started to feel cornered. After all, the substance polluting the lake is me. I don't have much time left. I've come to understand this. If the lake is purified, cleansing itself of the liquid memory, I will disappear. In other words, I will die. Oh no. That's when Dr. Robbins invited you here. When you arrived at the campsite, you were wearing Sayoko's pendant. I wanted to see her. Just one last time. That pendant contains memories of Sayoko, and I'm sure they remember me. That's why I tried to use the Another and you. Sayoko's daughter. I wanted to revive her. But the RAS was her way of preventing that. She showed me the error of my ways. Using the Another to prove my existence was wrong. I know that now. That's it. That's everything. I wanted you to know. This is my truth. Um, Ryan? What's happening to you? Wait, are you trying to erase my memories of you? You, you will forget me. No, Ryan! That's... Ryan, look! Look at this! Remember you. It's a message from my mom. When you tried to write my mom's memories onto me, she told me something. She said a person can live forever as long as someone remembers them. Sayoko. Thank you, Ryan. Because you remember her, my mom lives on. And thanks to that, I got to see her. Ashley, will you remember me? Even if I disappear? Yes. I won't forget the person Mom discovered. I'll remember you forever. Please, show me the RAS again. Thank you, Sayoko. I can finally be at peace. <gasps> Ashley? Dad, Ryan disappeared. He touched the RAS and now he's gone. What? He told me about Mom. And why he appeared to me.
What did he say? Tell me everything. After that, Dad and I took the boat back to J.C. Valley. He took me to his lab and... I took a nap on his cot. He and Rex had a long conversation. Dad was with me when I woke up. He told me, it's time to go home. We didn't talk much on the walk back to the cottage. We didn't need to tell each other what we were thinking. We just knew. We were thinking about Mom. Honestly, you too. <laughs> I had a funny feeling after our phone call yesterday. I got worried, so I came to make sure everything was all right. Only to find you two were out all night? Uh, well, it's just that, um, so much happened, and... For real, Jessica. It was a lot. Well, go on. It's all my fault. I got Ashley mixed up in a big mess. Don't listen to him. It was my idea to go to that island. Oh. <laughs> Dad kept me safe, Jessica. And it's all thanks to Ashley that we learned about Sayoko. At least you two are getting along. Huh? Aren't you glad you agreed to the trip? Yeah, actually. I have so much to tell you, Jessica. I can't wait to hear it all. When does the bus home arrive? We still have a little time. I'm gonna go say bye to everyone. Oh, one more thing. Can you return the key card to the guest house? I've already checked us out. Sure thing. I saw you picked up some souvenirs. Just a few things. Sorry I didn't ask first. No, it's all right. I'm glad you got something. If you want anything else from Lake Juliet, just let me know. Will do. Thanks, Dad. Ey, ich muss, ich muss zugeben, mir hat die Geschichte echt gefallen. Auch das mit Ryan und diesen Erinnerungszeug und so. Ich bin aber auch einer, der echt, also mir macht sowas Spaß, dass das Ras losbringt. Und er fühlt sich auch irgendwas etwas einsam an. Go on. Ja, verabschiede dich von allen. Ich werde an der Bushaltestelle warten. Hallo? Ah, jetzt. Vor allem, was mir halt besonders gefällt. Stay safe, Ashley. I'll be home on the weekends. I'll see you then. Halten wir mal das Anhänger. Schade, dass das Blau nicht mehr drin ist. Um. Ich habe noch ein bisschen Zeit, bis der Bus kommt. Warum steht denn er da so? Ich kann noch allen Tschüss sagen, bevor ich losfahre. Hi, Ashley. Are you heading home? Ja. Yeah. Thanks for everything. No, I should be thanking you. I've got my work cut out for me. First, we need to seal up the files on the another and clean the lake. And of course, we'll compensate the community for the pollution. I imagine there's more paperwork than research on the horizon. Sounds tough. <laughs> All in a day's work for a director. 
One more thing. I'm sorry to keep your father here. We'll need him to help rebuild JC Valley. I get it. I'll cheer him on while he does what he does best. I'm sure that's what Mom would have wanted. Just take care of him, okay? Thank you, Ashley. Oh, and I hear you and Elizabeth have started getting along. Thanks for that, too. It's too bad she isn't here to say goodbye. I wonder where she is. Hmm, I think Janet's hanging out at Bob's place, but... Well, at any rate, take care of yourself. Come and visit anytime. I'll be back, for sure. Dann gehen wir erstmal zu Bob. Und die Ding darf man auch nicht vergessen. Wir gehen erstmal zu Ding, zu Charlotte. Ne, aber ich mag an dem Spiel vor allem, ey klar, es ist nichts mit Action, es ist nicht viel los. Es ist halt immer ein bisschen mysteriös. Aber es passiert halt eigentlich nie so viel. Aber... Das ist es, was es halt irgendwie besonders macht. Und das sollte man mal reparieren, dass da mal wieder ein Haus von fliegt. Last time I was here. Hold it right there. Charlotte. Hä? Wo ist die jetzt hergekommen? Da aus dem Nichts. Ich mache erstmal meinen Dialog zu Ende. Nee, es ist so. Es ist ein entspanntes, schönes Spiel. Die Geschichte ist interessant. Sie ist nicht zu krass aufgezogen. Also so, boah, und was da nicht alles los ist. Sondern halt so, es erklärt so ein bisschen das mit den ganzen Erinnerungen und was da nicht so alles los ist und was so halt passiert ist. Es ist eine schöne Geschichte. Ob das jetzt alles natürlich irgendwie mal möglich ist oder so, keine Ahnung, ist mir eigentlich auch egal. Aber es macht Spaß, der Geschichte zu folgen. Klar, die, die Rätsel könnten vielleicht ein bisschen besser sein. Oder vielleicht ein Tick schwerer. Wenn man da ja gerade dumm ist. Oder halt einfach sich verschaut. Sagen wir eher verschaut. Dumm muss es nicht gleich sein. Aber das hat halt echt Spaß gemacht. Und auch die ganzen Charaktere sind halt alle sympathisch. Did you find Matthew? Ja. He remembered everything. He figured out where his dad is too, so he went to see him. Is that so? I'm glad. It seems this meddlesome young lady was helpful after all. Oh, harsh. Here I thought you might be about to thank me. You're sure in a good mood. Did something happen? Huh? <laughs> oh, nothing major. I'm just going to have a visitor soon is all. Oh, who's coming? I called my daughter, and she started crying on the phone, poor thing. She's visiting today. Honestly, shouldn't she have just told me before running off? And Aw, oh, come on, Charlotte. Just be happy to see your daughter. You're about to meet your grandchild for the first time. Did you say something, dear? No, nothing. I'm heading home after this. Oh, I see. My garden will be thankful for the reduced foot traffic. <laughs> Are you sure you aren't actually sad? Maybe even just a little? Visit Lake Juliet again. Okay, Ashley. I'll be back for sure, Charlotte. Take care. From this kind is ja schon vier oder so, ne? Ey, und bei solchen Spielen, ey, solange die Ästhetik hier stimmt, ist mir das komplett scheißegal, wie, wie hardcore die Grafik ist, nennen wir es mal so. Klar, das ist, aus dem Spiel könntest du noch viel mehr rausholen, wenn du sagst, Alter, ey, ich bring's jetzt für PC raus, hau da eine monster geile Grafik drüber, die wohl natürlich zur Stimmung passt. Aber hey, muss nicht sein. Ich meine, schon das alleine schaut einfach gut aus irgendwie. Es ist, ich, ich kann auf jeden Fall verstehen, warum das Spiel für viele was Besonderes war damals. Und auch heute, wenn denke ich mal noch ist. Nein, ich. Well, if it isn't Miss Ashley. 
Hi, Bob. I'm on my way home. Aw, oh, what a shame. Safe travels. And don't be a stranger, you hear? Oh, I'm definitely stopping by whenever I visit my dad. Looking forward to it. Your friends will miss you, but the salmon rice burger will miss you even more. <laughs> I'll be dreaming of that burger. And I'll make sure the tab goes to... To Doc my Robbins dad. it is. Er verdient das Forscher wahrscheinlich sowieso genug. Warum bist du hier alleine? Hey, what's up? I'm about to catch my bus home. What? No way! I was looking forward to hanging out. I guess you'll just have to come back soon. I definitely will. Elizabeth said she's gonna come back to practice. That's great. I didn't think Tommy or I got through to her, but then... Boom! Mine changed! Don't suppose you had anything to do with that? Nah, not really. I just cleared the air a little. And I think we may be friends now? Friends with Miss Moody? Impressive. Which means I must be pretty impressive too, huh? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right. Bye. See ya. Ja, aber kommt dann eigentlich der Scheiße, als Tommy Kaisen eigentlich auch von hier? Ich denke mal schon. Da fällt mir was ein, mir fehlen doch noch. Kann ich die noch scannen? In den hier im Haus, Bobs hat. Ja, da habe ich auch eins vergessen und du auch. Ach, scheiß drauf, komm. Waren ja zum Teil interessant, aber... Nee. Brauche ich jetzt nicht unbedingt. Glockentour. Hey, Dan. Hey there, Ashley. Hi, Dan. Ah, uh, you've always got a cheerful greeting for me. I'm just about to head home. Oh, I see. I'm sorry I couldn't track down your bag. Oh, I should have told you. I actually found it. Did you now? Well, that's good news. By the way, about that runaway? You mean Matthew? Oh, that's all taken care of. His uncle got in touch with me. Sounds like Matthew made it to his dad safe and sound. That's great news. Your efforts really helped save him, Ashley. Thank oh, jeez. I don't know. You know, there's something I'd like you to consider. Have you ever thought about becoming a forest ranger? You're a natural protector. What? <laughs> I'll, uh... I'll give it some thought. Later, okay? I'll be waiting to hear back. See you later. <laughs> Forest Ranger Ashley. Oh, die China. Die habe ich wieder ganz vergessen. Hey, China. Oh, Ashley. I was out for my first stroll in a while, hoping I'd run into you before you headed home. The director told me about the remote another. Yeah. Crazy, huh? So much has happened. You must be exhausted. Nah, I'm fine. But what about you? Are your injuries all right? Oh, that was nothing major. I'm stronger than I look, you know? I had a feeling. <laughs> Thanks, Gina. I was able to hang on because you were there with me. Come hang out again soon, okay? I'll be here enjoying the view. And working with the director and Dr. Robbins, of course. We are going to continue our research in ways that will really help people. Take care of my dad for me. Leave him to me. I'll see you next time. Tell Ian I said bye too. You got it. Take care, Ashley. Da hinten war dann bloß nur das Ding. Da geht's da links rein, ne? Ja.
Ist am Zeltplatz noch wer? Es fehlt jetzt eh bloß noch. Den Indien sagt, dass sie Bescheid. Stimmt, der journalisten fehlt noch. Da ist die Ding. Zeltplatz wer? Ah, oh, scheinbar nicht. Going somewhere, Ashley? Yeah, the bus stop. I'm heading home. Already? That's too bad. I heard things got crazy at JC Valley. My dad told me about it. Yeah, things got a little crazy. I heard about Sophia too. It was hard for dad to talk about, but he told me everything. I'm glad you talked with him. How are things with your dad? Better. I mean, there's still a lot I don't get, but better. <laughs> Dad's right. <laughs> One other thing. I'm sorry for being so rude to Matthew. I didn't know the truth, and I said some pretty mean things. If it's bothering you, why don't you send him a message? I'm sure Dan has his contact info. Yeah, good idea. Honesty is the way to go, right? Yeah. And text me while you're at it. Oh, please. As if I'd ever do that. What? I'll just have to see you at the band contest. <laughs> I guess you're right. I have a song that only I can sing. Huh? I can't wait. Then I'll see you there. Later. You bet. Oh, kann ich mit Princess Be good to Elizabeth. Ah. Die sollte man vielleicht mal scheren, Alter. <lacht> Deswegen gab es auch nie mehr ein Another 3, weil das jetzt im Prinzip ein Ab der Abschluss ist, ne? Das Another wird versiegelt, es wird nichts mehr damit gemacht. Es wird auch eigentlich keinen Sinn mehr machen. Wir haben ja alles aufgeklärt, was passiert ist, ne? Weil das hat sich vorhin alles so ein bisschen so angefühlt, wie wenn es so drauf hinausläuft. Wobei es immer noch eigentlich... Wir wissen immer noch nicht die Firma, mit wem Chad und so zusammengearbeitet hat, ne? Da gab es ja noch mal eine Hintergrundfirma. Oh, diese Musik. No slacking off today, right? Hey now, no one works harder than me. That's your line, huh? Your dad already checked out. Now I just need the keycard. Here you go. Seems like you had a pretty eventful vacation. Not wrong. But I think it'll be a good memory. Glad to hear it. At the end of the day, I really like this place. I'm glad what went down didn't ruin it for you. You're not so bad, Tommy. Just figuring that out? <laughs> well, once you return the keycard, you won't be able to get back in. Have you said all your goodbyes? Yep. Yep. All done. And there you are. Officially checked out. Thanks for everything. No worries. Tommy, the Schlüssel card is given. This was. Kein, we'll see you at the band contest, or. Ashley. Ah. Keep on rocking. I'll see you at the band contest. See you there. Okay. Das hat man noch gewartet. <lacht> Na gut, auf zur Bushaltestelle. Aber warum glauben wir, dass jetzt der Matthew noch auftaucht? Ich meine, es wäre jetzt schon komisch, wenn du das dreiviertel Spiel mit ihm verbringst und dann... Oh, er ist weg. <lacht> Ach, da vorne ist die andere, ist das schon? Ist das ein Geist? <lacht> Schaut ein bisschen komisch aus, wie sie da steht. Die hätten hier wenigstens die Arme verschränken können oder so. Schaut halt aus, wie es fehlt halt nur so, dass es eine T-Pose wäre oder so. Sie ist so. Ashley. Der Bus sollte jede Minute hier sein. If I may. Noch irgendwas vergessen, Ashley? Ich bin bereit.
The day before my 14th birthday started off pretty bad. But on that day, I reunited with my dad, and the rest became a memory I'll never forget. Two years passed. I turned 16. I went to see dad and the trip started off pretty bad. So much happened in just a single day. But it became another precious memory. I finally understand who my mom really was. I'll keep those two days close to my heart. Behind the door to my memories. With mom. Forever. Wir sprechen uns wieder nach den Credits.
Das Ende. So, mal schauen. Kriegen wir noch irgendein Abschlussbild nochmal oder so? Unterwegs? Okay. Das hat auch so, glaube ich, am Anfang nicht ausgeschaut, ne? Für Ashley wurde freigespielt. Dafür ist nur ein Doppel der Erinnerung verfügbar. Ashleys Outfit wechseln. Möchtest du vom Spielstart des, äh, des Spiels ihr Outfit wechseln? Wechseln und Spiel starten. Darf ich jetzt wechseln oder startet das jetzt einfach? Nee, nee, passt schon. Äh, Software beenden. Gehen wir nochmal so rein. Ähm, ja. Ey, das war jetzt ein schöner Abschluss. Und ich find's halt saugeil, dass die nochmal so die ganzen Charaktere gezeigt haben und was die jetzt gerade so machen. Ihren als dieser Undercover-Agent oder dieser, Ge ähm, Bundesagent oder was er am Ende war. Dann der Matthew, der wo sein Vater wieder trifft. Und das Schönste. Also da hätte ich, musste ich zugeben, hätte ich fast die Träne verdrückt, wie dann die Charlotte wieder ihre Enkel, Enkelin und ihre Tochter wieder sieht mit ihrem Mann. Hä? Stimmt, das startet ja, glaube ich, immer so. Es war schon, es war schon schön. Es war schon echt schön. Und auch so das, die ganzen anderen Sachen und dann auch, wo du so gesehen hast, über, über den Band Contest und was weiß ich, was nicht alles. Sehr schön. Was mich auch gleich zu einer Kritik bringt, wir haben nie das fucking Lied gehört von denen. Und wo die, wo die Dings singen, die Elisabeth. Aber gut, ich meine, da hätten sie wahrscheinlich jemanden extra holen müssen, nur damit du ein Lied mal einsingst oder so. Das Abschlusslied war echt schön. Fand ich echt super. Und... Ansonsten habe ich eigentlich alles schon vorher gesagt, ne? Also, es ist ein wunderschönes Spiel. Ich fand es eine sehr schöne Geschichte, beide. Ich fand, es war schön entschleunigt, es war kein Hetzen, es war kein Ding. Klar, wie, wie schon gesagt, die Rätsel könnten ein bisschen knackiger sein, aber muss nicht unbedingt, weil es ja eher eine Visual Novel ist. Ähm, die Charaktere waren alle echt gut gemacht. Man konnte immer mitfühlen mit der, mit der Ashley. Die Ashley an sich als Charakter, die haben auch sehr gut dargestellt, dass sie, dass sie so, so äh, wie, mit, wo sie vorher, be bevor sie 14 wird im ersten Teil, dass er halt so ein bisschen rotz, äh, rotz -gern, oder görnhaft ist halt, also halt, ja, Teenager-mäßig, mit 16 dann auch, das, hat, das haben sie echt gut dargestellt, das hat echt glaubhaft rübergekommen und alles. Der Artstyle war sehr schön, ich meine klar, keine High-End-Grafik, aber das, was es sein sollte, hat es damit geschafft und das war echt schön. Und auch so dieses, diese Artstyle ist diese, mit dieser Zeichnung und so. Ey, es fühlt sich, muss, muss ich mal dazugeben, es fühlt sich halt an wie so ein Vorgänger Life is Strange. Also so vom Gefühl her einfach. Klar, Anasa war vor Life is Strange da, das muss man dazu sagen. Aber so vom Gefühl her kommt es halt genau in die Richtung und das ist sowas, was mir echt gefällt. Wobei in Life is Strange schon wieder mehr Mystery und Action war, als es hier. Da war es halt wirklich bloß immer so am Schluss mit, oh, er ist, der andere ist der falsche Vater und er war der Mörder der Mutter. Ah, da kommen die Bilder vom Ding. Und, und alles. War echt schön. Es ist einfach, wie drückt man es am besten aus? Eine besondere Spielerfahrung, würde ich jetzt sagen. Es ist nichts, wo du halt immer wieder hast oder ständig hast. Es ist nichts, was sich öfter wiederholt. Wie gesagt, die einzigen Spiele, was mir jetzt so ein bisschen konkret einfallen, die wohl so in die Richtung gehen, ist halt so Life is Strange. Und ansonsten wüsste ich halt gar keins, was so irgendwas in der Richtung hat. Ja. Vor allem, ich fand es halt schön, dass es auch so ein bisschen so dieses Mysteriöse drin hat. Also mit diesem, dass du halt auch die Geister sehen konntest. Ich meine, die am Anfang im ersten Teil, dann die die, die kleine, die Kelly, glaube ich, war es ja, die, die, die Schwester von Matthew, die Verstorbene. Und so, dann der Ryan mit diesem Erinnerungsding und so. Das, das, das ist so eine Prise einfach dazu gewesen, die wo es dann perfekt gemacht hat. So. Es ist nicht nur so eine einfach so eine Teenager- oder Coming-of-Age-Geschichte, glaube ich, nennt es mal ja. Sondern es hat so eine Prise Mysterio, Mys Mysteriöses drin gehabt oder, oder, oder Fantasy-mäßig. Fand ich super. Also... Ich meine, ihr habt es jetzt hier gesehen, ihr werdet es euch jetzt kaum wahrscheinlich selber kaufen oder ihr schaut es hier an, nachdem ihr selber gespielt habt. Oder ihr wollt es euch nicht kaufen, nachdem ihr es damals gespielt habt, ist ja egal. Ich bedanke mich jedenfalls bei euch fürs Zuschauen und ich hoffe, wir sehen uns dann wieder zu dem anderen Let's Play. Vielleicht 
finde man nochmal so ein Spiel, was so schön in die Richtung geht. Wobei ich ja bis heute immer noch nicht die Life is Strange Spiele nachgeholt habe. Der zweite Teil, muss ich zugeben, der interessiert mich halt null. Aber da war es der dritte? Ich glaube schon, dass der dritte ist, ne? True Colors? Oder war das schon der vierte? Ich weiß es nicht. Der soll ja auch relativ gut sein, aber ich konnte mich bisher nie durchringen, den zu kaufen. Den gibt es ja mittlerweile auch schon relativ günstig. Eigentlich, wenn man mal auf Sales wartet. Egal, das war Another Code Recollection. Sehr schönes Spiel, kann ich jedem empfehlen. War es wert zu spielen. Und war eine super Geschichte. Danke fürs Zuschauen, macht's gut und bis zum anderen Game. Servus.